Hey what's going on guys, it is Jaco and welcome back to some more GTA 6 Concepts. And today's topic is gonna be weaponized vehicles. Of course, if you guys would like to check out any of the previous or future episodes of GTA 6 Concepts where we discuss some things we love to see in GTA 6, I'll leave the full playlist down below in the description, as well as let me know some other concepts and topics you guys would like to talk about in the comments down below. Weaponized vehicles in GTA Online have been super helpful and a whole lot of fun to bring into the world, but they've also been incredibly controversial. The Oppressor Mark II, for example, was incredibly overpowered, and it made every other vehicle in the game almost completely unusable, because if you were in a car, one rocket would blow you up, if you were in a helicopter, you get blown up, and then you have no, in no convenient way, sorry, to get into another helicopter quick enough. The Oppressor Mark II was just there, and it was fast, and it was everything you could possibly want, especially if you were doing missions making money through your businesses in free roam so i would love to hear your guys thoughts what weaponized vehicles do you guys want to see in gta 6 and gta 6 online right off the rip day one i think tanks and attack helicopters should be available in free roam at least whether or not they should be available to purchase is a completely another story as well as how to access them from when you purchase them afterwards because I feel like after like 2016, 2017 GTA Online, it was an absolute no brainer to every time you walk in your garage and enter free mode, you were leaving with a weaponized vehicle to both keep things offensively explosive as well as defend yourself. As well, it was a much easier way to get around with a Deluxo or an Oppressor Mark II versus just the regular old vehicle. Especially with all the driving we had to do in GTA 5, you'd do a supply mission, you have to go there and then bring it back, and it may have taken a lot longer if you were in a regular old vehicle, but the Oppressor Mark II would do it in like half the time, and you rarely risked ever dying when you were in the Oppressor Mark II, especially when you were getting chased by the NPCs that would spawn in buzzards or cars. They weren't able to touch you if they were in a car because you could just fly away from them. It was amazing. I would love to see something like the Armored Karuma make a return so we could do them in missions, setups, heists, and that sort of thing as an escape vehicle because it was incredibly useful to be practically bulletproof from any NPC in the game. And when it was online, it was pretty balanced. You just get rocketed once and then boom, you were dead. As well as I would love to see some stealth vehicles, at least from hiding from players in online. Whether or not they actually work for like the police or something in game or would originally scramble their radars or radios or something, that could be pretty cool. Actually, now to think of it, like an EMP car would actually be amazing. I know we have EMP mines in GTA Online right now with some vehicles and Monty Tech vehicles, but to have like an EMP car would actually be really, really cool. But the reason I'm making this video is because I want to know what you guys think of how these vehicles should be accessed, whether or not they should be in your garage 24-7, how much armor they should have, and what we should see differences from our regular old GTA Online weaponized vehicles. Now, think the Night Shark, Insurgent, Oppressor. I don't think I want to see an Oppressor anywhere near GTA 6 because like I said, it ruined the game almost completely in all public and online sessions. It was completely useless to drive around in any other vehicle. The vehicles like the Night Shark and the Toretto came out much afterwards and then we got missile lock on jammers which were really nice but why would you take a missile lock on jammer anywhere when you were needing to drive to do missions when you could just be in an oppressor. I want to see GTA 6 online go back to a place pre-2015 when oppressors were taking over the entire earth back when we had to use cars to get around anywhere or buzzards i would like to see buzzards make a return or some sort of attack helicopter where all four of your friends could hop in maybe give us some stealth functions or something like that and a bit more armor because one rocket was kind of bad for it especially if you were just cruising around and online i want to see missions go back to their old ways where you had to drive to locations maybe in 
GTA 6 it can be a bit more balanced where you're not driving across the map for every single supply mission you do but I like the use of vehicles more than weaponized vehicles in GTA Online. I really like the auto shop contract heist because you were forced to use a car and you had to be like Fast and the Furious wheelman. Everyone joked about how that how that DLC was the Fast and Furious DLC and you had to use cars pretty much for all the missions you did and it was really really cool and I really liked it and it made me you know not need to use a Karuma or an oppressor all the time and or and or a helicopter because that would have made the missions a lot easier yeah but it was a lot more fun in vehicles sometimes I feel like I'm really, really torn between weaponized and non-weaponized vehicles in GTA Online. I love them both so much. I love my armored Karuma. I love my Stealth Akula. I love those sorts of vehicles. They're, they're so much fun, but I don't want to see them overtake GTA 6 Online the way they did GTA 5 Online. I know this video has been kind of all over the place. It's because of just how torn I genuinely am about both weaponized and non-weaponized vehicles. I hope we get some, but I hope we don't get something super overpowered day one where it's useless to buy any other vehicle in the game unless of course you want to drive around. I spent a lot of my recent years in GTA Online not so much playing for fun but grinding for money doing the KO Perico and stuff and Diamond Casino Heist, all those free roam setup missions were easily done flying around in weaponized vehicles. I'd like to have the option to do that because the alternative was to take double or even triple the time to drive around on a in, a in a car or something and just waste so much more time that I shouldn't be wasting at all because I have an Oppressor Mark II or a Buzzard or a Sparrow to fly around for me. But I don't know, maybe these weaponized vehicles won't be easy to access at all. Maybe they'll go back to a level cap, like before the buzzard you had to become level like 60 or 70 to originally unlock. Then they kind of raised and got rid of the level cap and anyone could buy like pretty much anything in the game now. I really didn't like that because it just took away the need of leveling up at all when you could just buy it all to begin with. I would like to see level caps be maybe even higher or just have some of these vehicles not so easily accessible. I would like to see some end game like helicopters or something maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I'm super torn between the two things. I would love to see them and I would also love to not see them, especially so many so soon. I know some of the weaponized vehicles we love right now probably won't be there at the release of GTA 6 Online, let's be real, because if we had the option to get them all at once, we would just pick our one or two favorite and then never touch any of them unless we became like super, super rich because we played the game so much because we were so efficient at grinding for the money because of the weaponized vehicles we used. I don't know. I like the auto shop contracts and I think we should do something more like that where it's more vehicle based and not weaponized vehicle based but yeah I, that's really all I have to say and I would love to hear your guys thoughts as well. With that being said I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.